pleasure to be here with you today. I have the incredible opportunity to um, lean, lead impact at Genomatica, which is sustainability, government affairs, corporate communications, marketing, and investor relations. And I like to thank Covestro for the question of where does the oil come from? I wanted to open this up with an image about why traceability and transparency is so important. So I did what anyone would do. I Googled traceability of oil and couldn't find much. I looked in images, no luck. I tried then and found an article from 2011 to understand is there traceability of the supply chain. It's something that our customers ask every single day, whether it's in apparel, beauty, car parts, um, chemicals and beyond. They're asking, where do my products come from? Because in a world with ever-shifting supply chains, knowing where your materials come from is business resilience. And I didn't have any luck with the images of oil traceability. So instead, I wanted to tell a personal story. I got into this space over 15 years ago. I'm a cultural anthropologist and focused in finance. And I study cultures of risk. And I can't think of a bigger risk than the climate crisis and the intersection of human rights with it. I've been really lucky over the past 10 years to travel the world working with different companies and different industries to understand where do our materials come from. So I don't know about you, but I ask myself this question all the time. Where does my stuff come from? Does it come from the ground? Does it come from the land? Does it come from a lab? And why does that really matter? And I wanted to share a little bit of the behind the scenes of why it does matter and how it's so personal. So here are some of the images from my over 10 years of exploring the world, lucky to represent many different industries, apparel, beauty, automotive, mining, and I've had the opportunity to meet incredible people who work every day, hands of the supply chain, to bring our products to life. Materials in Western Africa that go into beauty products, minerals that go into electronics, food that gets put on all of our plates every day. I've been invited to weddings in the bottom right corner. But I've also had the unfortunate but very real opportunity of seeing some of the worst events on supply chains, human trafficking, child labor, wage theft, the really underbelly of where our products come from. On the side here, you'll see a shoe of a four-year-old boy who is mining for precious materials. This work is incredibly heartbreaking, but it's also deeply inspiring because what we represent as industries has the responsibility to change the question of where does my stuff come from? So with that, I wanted to give you a bit more about what we're doing at Gino and why that matters. So at Gino, we're accelerating the transition to sustainable materials, and we replace materials commonly made from fossil fuels, coal, or palm oil with plants or waste instead. And we really believe that materials should be traceable, transparent, and responsibly sourced for the reasons in the photos that I shared before. Not only is there the personal connection of understanding where your products come from, there's also the critical business piece of if you understand where your materials come from, you can ensure then that you have more resilience in a very volatile world. If COVID taught us anything, it's that understanding where our materials come from is even more important. We're really proud to partner with across many different industries, and many of our partners are actually in the room. So a little bit about Gino. We're 22 years old. We are based in San Diego, California. And over the past 22 years, we've invested over 300 million in R&D and have over 2,200 patents pending. So a really deep focus on IP as well as research and development. That's the majority of our company. We work really closely with leading brands and we're excited to have commercialized over four products. And as we shared earlier, we're super focused on scale and impact. 
Um, we manufacture our products in partnership with uh, leaders like Novamont, who's in the room, Core, which is a joint partnership between Cargill and Helm, which allow us to hit massive quantities of impact. So we sit at the intersection of bioengineering, industrial scale and performance, and sustainability impact and breadth. So I talked about being a nerd around, so around risk, but wanted to give a little bit more about why that's so important. So every year, the World Economic Forum comes out with a list of the top risks based on both likelihood as well as capacity for impact. And what we've seen over the many, um, the last 10 years, and especially the last five years, is incredibly concerning. What you'll see is in the top of this list, we have climate action failure, extreme weather, biodiversity loss, social cohesion, erosion, and likelihood. When we think about the intersection of how climate impacts supply chains, nothing is more critical to understanding where your materials come from. So do you know we take all of these big ideas about risk and understanding what's happening in the global market, and we really build in comprehensive, data-driven um, models to understand where we can maximize our impact. So it's broken down into three big areas for our sustainability program. It's around being traceable. So we're working with brands directly to understand where their products come from. We have brands that we are working with or are working with shortly products coming to market that say they just found out that some of the materials that are used come from conflict regions in Russia or Syria. Knowing where your materials come from matters. Their investors are asking them, do you know where your products come from? We don't want to invest in companies that aren't asking and doing this type of diligence on their supply chains. So we're redefining what the standards look like because we get to sit at the intersection of many different industries from coatings to cosmetics. We get best practices about what matters most across each industries. And we take that and share it across all of our partners. And we're also in the process of making this information open source because we know that we don't have time and sharing is the best way to move forward. We've launched a partnership with SourceMap, which is an MIT traceability software that's working with us to not only trace our own supply chain, but get more understanding of what's happening in the incumbent supply chains as well. So we can better tell the stories of our partners as well as what's possible. We're telling these stories in a bit of a different way. We're not so much just showing images of people who make your products, but talking about in their own voice why it's important to know where your materials come from. We're thinking about regeneration and going beyond sustainability in just the what used to be the renewable story of the biotech space and really thinking about social justice and um, worker well-being up and down the supply chain. And then with that, we have rigorous modeling, which includes everything from our life cycle assessment program to understanding our capacity of impact in our different business models from licensing to manufacturing and beyond. And last but not least is our focus on responsible sourcing. So we've built a new standard for, response for human rights impacts on our supply chain, and we explore these risks explicitly and especially in relation to the incumbents. We have leaned on, there's been so much incredible work that's happened in this space over decades from different industries, and so we believe it's really important to support the work that's already happened, to not start from scratch, but to lift into the experts across the field. So here are a few of our technologies that we're lucky to have in market already. Our markets are apparel, automotive, beauty, performance, personal care, home care, packaging, and industrial plastics. Um, over 10 years ago, we started working on Gino BDO that our partner Novamont and Core, a partnership of Cargill and Helm, are now bringing to life with a line of sight to hit over 100,000 metric tons of BDO a year, and this number is growing quickly. Next up, we're hitting the nylon industry, which is a $22 billion industry um, that hits everything from apparel to performance, outdoor wear, and car parts. Really exciting, in the upcoming weeks, we have a huge launch around a Gino palm oil alternative. This is disrupting a market that is um, 
has really struggled with traceability from both the environmental, social, and government's risks. And we are really proud to be producing a competitive um, performance material. We work with the personal care industry. We have a branded Brontide, which is a butylene glycol that goes into many of the ingredients that you probably used to get ready this morning from shampoo to conditioner, soap, deodorants, and toothpastes. We just a month ago launched Avela, which is a nutrition ingredient which gets you into ketosis. And so it enhances performance for everyday people, not just athletes. And last but not least, we launched a fragrance line. So why does this matter and why is scale so important? Our BDO technology, which is our oldest technology, um, reduces greenhouse gases by an estimated 90% in comparison to coal-based sources, which is huge when you think about the impact we're looking to have. Overall at Gino, our aim is to impact over 100 million tons of carbon in the upcoming years, and we're well on track, in big part due to our partnerships with uh, CORE and Novamont and others. Um, we have line of sight for 100,000 and much more to come in upcoming months and years. So I want to thank you all so much for your time. I think that the resilience of supply chains only exist when we work together. What I've learned from traveling the world and working with um, farmers to investment bankers is that we have to ask each other the questions of what really matters most. Um, and that, for us, is changing how products are made. So thanks so much.